so in my previous video i was talking about how to create vpc and subnet and uh, how to uh, define the secondary ip range uh, that was the video so in this video i am going to cover how to create firewall rule through terraform so uh, so in uh, in this video just uh, go through the details what the code uh, you have to write to create a firewall rule so let me tell you so in uh, here as you can see i have created uh, three terraform rules one is http allow http allow ping allow ssh so how you will create along with your network which you have created one vpc that uh, part i am telling you and the protocol what protocol is associated with that um, uh, what port is associated with that protocol that you have to allow or deny so for me i have just allowing that port port number 80443 and icmp port and tcp port <coughs> so three port i just uh, i'm going to allow so uh, let me show you the code okay so <coughs> here uh, let me open the editor <coughs> or uh, here actually already i i have opened in my separate uh, tab so you can follow so here this is the piece of uh, code uh, so i will share that uh, code uh, link uh, in description box so uh, this is the firewall rule which i have created in uh, through terraform the resource google compute and firewall uh, allow ping the name of the um, name of the firewall rule name and which network you are going to create a firewall rule and uh, allow and the protocol icmp and the source range and target range you have to define so likewise uh, so three uh, three uh, firewall rule i have created here uh, allow ssh and allow http so uh, likewise you will create uh, the firewall rule and then uh, how to connect with a uh, terraform so uh, in my previous video i had explained how to connect uh, terraform so for that you have to uh, follow the uh, process like a, uh, the provider.ta uh, this provider the google and the uh, which project you are connecting and how you are connecting through uh, service account so how service account will configure and all that i had created that video you can go through my terraform playlist you can check uh, check it out so uh, so uh, what i explain how to create firewall rule through terraform once your uh, uh, code is ready then you will just uh, execute and the file structure should be like this and if you want to store your backend uh, state file so separate video i'll create for how to create a backend file so to store the state file this is the one uh, syntax to create a, a state file and um, uh, so global variable uh, for example uh, i have uh, i want to use some variable like a project id but the where i have defined i have defined in my the um, uh, variable project id equal to project name that is terraform.tabr file it is a global variable whatever the variable you will define here and whatever variable you are just trying to call from here if you will assign the value then it will fetch automatically so this is one part and i networking part i had explained how to create vpc how to create subnet and uh, the subnet secondary ip range and uh, primary ip range how to define and secondary ip range uh, uh, how to define i had uh, uh, show you in the uh, different video so you can go through the details and so and uh, the vm part uh, let me cover uh, how to create vm as well in this video uh, so uh, for example the resource google compute instance and the vm name is app and the name of the vm project you have which project you are going to create the vm because google cloud project is one of the container resource uh, in, inside the project uh, whatever resource you are going to provision so that is uh, the flow of gcp so machine type you have to define and which zone and zone video and region video also i had created if you don't know what is zone what is region you just follow my previous video and the uh, board disks uh, what uh, type of board disk is required and which network you are taking to configure the vm will mention if you want to install some script inside the uh, uh, vm 
uh, configuration so you have to install uh, some uh, some things so and you can also allow on tag you can to define so that uh, it will map with your firewall rule and uh, install some if you want to install some uh, some uh, things to as a output so uh, the meta data or startup script uh, through you can store somewhere or call likewise also you can follow so this is the process but how to execute let me tell you so here uh, just let me um, go to my cloud shell okay so my cloud shell is already open so let me reconnect here <coughs> just you reconnect it and uh, uh, just terraform terraform apply if you are not uh, uh, before going to apply you just see, see plan uh, what it will going to provision in my infrastructure you can check so <clears throat> generally plan will show you because uh, 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 plan it is not showing because already created the infrastructure so terraform apply so here it is also it will show now uh, uh, there is no resource will create it is also compare with the state file and there is no so these are the uh, things which will create so uh, what what has been created so there is a command terraform show terraform show command you can show what uh, what uh, resource has been created through terraform so my uh, image one image is created then uh, my uh, you know my instance uh, instance is created and uh, uh, this is the resource which is created through terraform and how the uh, firewall rule is uh, enabled with my uh, vm so um, what let me in console and show you through terraform i created a um, vm uh, that is called my app instance and <clears throat> then um, uh, uh, through terraform like uh, uh, the allow firewall rule i have created allow http allow ping allow ssh instead of creating manually i have created uh, through terraform so uh, and this is my vpc network and this is uh, three sub network i have created along with two sub network i have created secondary ip range so what is the code and all you can just uh, follow the um, code to write um, uh, if it is required for your project so you can follow this terraform code it would be helpful so thank you for watching my youtube channel i hope this video will be helpful uh, so in my description box i will provide you the github link to uh, use that uh, uh, code but uh, before using code you have to understand the what exactly uh, it is working all that point you have to understand thoroughly now instead of blindly you uh, download the code and i mean couple of issue will be uh, generate so make sure that you understand the flow of work of terraform how you are going to provision the resource in google cloud terraform so Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.